all right thank you very much welcome back and in this video we are going to learn something that's very important for lithium batteries and hybrid inverters and that is communication between the inverter and the battery a lot of persons a lot of installers have fall victim of this situation whereby when they connect some hybrid inverters to some lithium batteries uh, based on the fact that the products you are not able to communicate with each other then it's either the inverter overcharges the battery then at some point the battery gets hot over temperature then it affects the battery cells or the inverter doesn't charge the battery up to the required voltage recommended by the manufacturer and as such the battery doesn't get full to 100 percent full capacity all the time it always ends at 60 percent some 70 percent some 30 percent and all that and so on and so forth and one of the ways in which we can curb this menace is to ensure that our inverter whatever inverter we use communicates well with whatever battery we are using it's very easy for you to communicate products that are of the same brand felicity inverter and felicity lithium battery very easy just use the cable that came with the pack then it's going to establish the connection seamlessly if you're using c what to c what c what inverter and c what battery it's still very simple but the big question is how then do you communicate felicity inverter to c what battery felicity battery to c what inverter and so on and so forth we have different brands mixed up in your setup how then do you establish a communication at such point and that's the essence of today's video i for one i personally like to use user defined settings for my inverter to charge my batteries as well as it should charge but a lot of persons are so obsessed with communication cable they want to see the communication symbol on the inverter and to see the soc the information of the soc on the inverter screen and know that they've done a good job and in today's video i'm going to explain some introductory stuff that you need to know about that probably in future videos i'm going to go deeper into it so let me just give an introduction now for you to be able to connect your inverter and your battery whatever brand you're using together with the cable first of all you need to know that the cable that came with it with your either your inverter or your battery is not going to work because your inverter and your battery they're designed by different manufacturers and so the ports that is used for communication is quite different from each other now first of all you need there are tools you need to know there are some tools you need to get for you to be able to do that and one of my list is this crimping tool for ethernet cables and rg45 connectors then as well you need rg45 connectors i have some here they are not expensive you can get them for as low as 50 bucks per one then we have this one it's not really necessary but it comes along with this when you get this material that's pretty much all you need to do to have then again you need to have the cat 6 or cat 5 cable that is used for communication for those of you that are familiar with networking you understand better all right now it comes like this is already crimped from the company this one comes from either the battery or the inverter so first thing i'm going to do i'm going to have to cut it okay because it's not going to work because the positions for the can and the ios for h5 communication protocol for the battery and inverter are different so this one comes with the inverter if you're not using a battery that is of the same brand it's not going to work so first of all you cut this one you cut this one away so it means we are going to have to customize our cable we need a customized cable like this the same thing with this one normally every cat 6 cable or cat 5 cable they come with eight wires and also the connectors you have eight pins inside it is labeled one to eight now the labeling is different for different brands of batteries or inverter now first thing you need to know head on to the manual now here with me i have the manual for first 6 kv inverter the new model you can head on to the communication part where you have the pin assignment for bms communication ports now the four major ports you need to take note of is the can ports we have can l can h os 45 b os 45 e 
those four ports. You can see that the CAN L is pin 3. Then the pin 4 is CAN H. Pin 5 is RS45B. Pin 6 RS45A. That's for the inverter. Then for C watt battery, in case you are connecting, you want to communicate in electricity inverter and C watt battery, you just see what manual for the battery. Also check the the configuration for the pins. We have from pin 1 to 8. We have the RS45 B, RS45 A. Then we also have the CAN H, CAN L. It's, you see, it, you have pin 1, 2, 4, 5. 1, 2, 4, 5. Why for Felicity, we have it as starting from RS45 B, 5, 6, 3, 4. Okay, so we need to match because it's a, it's a pin to pin connection or point to point connection for those of us that are familiar with networking. So whenever we have a A must match with A, RS 45B must match with B, L, CAN L must match with CAN L on the battery side. So everything must match. So for you to do that, now check. There's something to pay attention to the positioning of the pins. You can see that this is a phone view of the pin. Those of you that did engineering join, you understand what I'm talking about. This is a phone view. And the phone view is something like this for the inverter. Okay, so this is the phone view. Now, the labeling starts from here, 1 to 8. So it means for your inverter side, this is pin 1, then this is pin 8. So when I turn it to this side, I have here as my pin 1. Okay, so pin 1 to 8. Okay, keep it aside. Then for your battery, it's quite different. The phone view is like this. Okay? For the inverter, it was like this. Then for your battery, it's like this. Then this is 1 to 8. This is pin 1. And this is pin 8. Okay? So it's quite different. Alright? So we are going to have to draw, use a pen and paper to map it out properly so that we will not make any mistakes. Now, first of all, we have the pins like this. Let's do inverter, then battery. So this is inverter, then this is our battery. Now, for the inverter, we have this. We have, let's start with ours 45 b so RS 45 b is 5, pin 5. So we have 5, that's RS 485B. So we have uh, 5, then RS 45A, we have uh, 6, 6. Then can L, we have 3. Can H, we have Five, six, three, four. So this is pin five, pin six, pin three, pin four. So it must match with the battery's pin. Then remember, five is RS forty five. Then this RS four eight five E. Then can A, okay, can L and can H, okay. Then for the battery, we have it as um um. RS 45B for the battery side is what? Pin 1. So you write 1 here. RS 45A is pin 2. You write 2 here. Can L is 5, pin 5. Then why can H is pin 4? For the inverter, can L is pin 3. Then can H is pin 4. Okay, 3, 4. Battery, the H came first. So, before the L, so you need to make sure you arrange all of them. Now, this 485A, 485B, L and H for the inverter matches with these pins. So, 5 to 1, 6 to 2, 3 to 5, and 4 to 4. Now, only the 4 is consistent. Now, after doing this, you need to also know that for your cable, you're going to have to choose the color coding. You can use any color code, just make sure. The color you choose here is the same color that is going to go to the point for that particular pin on the battery. It's a point-to-point -point connection. Okay, A connects to A, 
B connects to B, C connects to C. The moment you do A to C, then you've missed it. Now, in order for us not to miss it, now let's sort out the various colors we have here. Okay, so there are some colors that are kind of uh, confusing, so we cut those ones. Out. We only need four, four of these wires. So we select four and cut the rest out. Okay, so we select the four prominent colors. Then the many ones will do justice with those ones. Cut them out. We don't need them. So we selected these four. So we have um, we have green, brown, orange, and blue. So we're going to have to choose which color will be our 485B, which color will be our 485A. That will enable us to connect this stuff very properly. Okay, so we have this. Then the same thing, you do it for the other side. Select the prominent colors and trim out the remaining colors. Okay, so I have it here. All right. Now, also mark the color. We have green, we have orange, we have brown and blue. So, this one is green, orange, brown, blue. Okay. Anyhow, we do it. However we do it, we must have our RS485B for either the inverter and the battery as green, the green, the green wire. Then the, for the RS485A, it has to be the orange wire. Okay, because by the time you start to fix out the battery, the orientation will change. The 5634 turns to 1254. Okay, so we need to be very careful. Now, let's first of all check the inverter. This is an empty RG45 connector. Come with the inverter. Now, you do the phone view. We have something like this based on how it was arranged here on the manual. So, this is the phone view. From the phone view, we have one to eight starting from the left. So this one. So, so I know that this is one pin, one to pin eight. Then come with your cable. Now for pin one, there's no one, we don't need pin one. So I start with from pin five. So or three, four. That's three, four, five, six. Okay. So three, four, five, six. Then three must be brown. Four must be black, must be blue, so it has to go like this three, four, five, six. It has to go brown, blue, green, orange for the inverter, so we get to arrange it properly in that manner. So, brown, blue, green, orange is very tricky, but it's very exciting if you understand what you're doing. Brown, blue, green, orange. So bring orange. This cable is very amenable. You can change the location and the position of each of these colors seamlessly. So brown, blue, green, orange. Ah right here. So orange is last. Make sure you cut them to the same length, like this. So that's it. So brown is three. So you come with a pin, locate three. Remember it's like this. This is the phone view. Then this is one. So one, two, three. So brown will enter the, the third pin. Blue will enter the fourth pin. Then five, six. It just it goes like that. So apart from one, two. So just put it inside. Okay, so three, four, five, six. So once it enters inside, you crimp. I don't know if you can see it properly. Let me even confirm. Brown. Okay, it has not entered properly. Okay, I fixed it. Well, it was really hell of a ride. Yeah, that's why I, I see the reason why most installers don't even want to go this route. They just stick with the user defined and well what is what it's if you still want to get extra knowledge on how to do it so you can see that this normal this normal this one so we take it to this side this one two three so the third pin 
it starts from here. So we have the brown, blue, then uh, green, orange. So when you fix it correctly, use the crimping tool. Just it's very simple. Just put it inside like this. Then press it once. That's it. I done. So it is well crimped like this. Nothing else to do. Just to confirm that it's done. Press again. So this is it for the inverter side. Then you mark it I N D. Then the other side is the battery side. Then for the battery side, it's quite different. Now you're going to have to arrange it in a ascending order. So we have one, two, five, four. So I'm going to do one, two, four, five. So one, two, four, five. If I do one, two, four, five. Let me take the camera down. If I do one, two, four, five, it means I have to change the arrangement of my color codes for my wires. So one is green, one maintains the green. So we have green, two is orange, then four is blue, then five is brown. So I have to do green, orange, blue, brown. I did brown, blue, green, orange before. Now I'm going to do green, orange, blue, brown. Following the uh, ascending order and also the um, the color coding all right so that's green comes first this time around green orange as my one and two then blue brown okay such that five will always communicate to, to one so five to one five on the inverter goes to one on the battery then it goes towards rs 5 b six on the inverter goes to where two on the battery that's rs 5 a so you need to make sure the color codes matches each other so green orange blue brown let me arrange it and fix as well remember for the battery the phone view is quite different so it's like this get so you start the numbering from here so i already fixed it i don't know if you can see it properly but then i'll do a proper video and make sure you see it properly okay so then just crimp that's it that's pretty much it crimp so we have the battery side now so let me label the battery battery side okay battery side normally you have to use a cable tester to to check you understand the connection i can also use my multimeter to do a continuity test and so that's what i can show you for now i hope you've learned a thing or two from this class all right so let me know where you're watching the video from and also make sure you like the video, share the video, comment. So thank you very much. See you again.